Vera Beach is among the top 25 beaches in the United States, according to TripAdvisor. In 2021, Madera Beach secured the ninth spot on the list. In this video, we're going to show you some of the reasons why Madera Beach is among the best of the best when it comes to the beaches in the United States. We're also going to visit a few of the top rated restaurants in the area and share tips for planning a visit to Madera Beach. Make sure to watch until the end to see footage from visiting John's Pass and eating at the number two rated restaurant in Madera Beach. We're going to start off checking out one of the main public access areas on Madera Beach. The sand is soft and manicured to lay down a beach blanket or towel, but there are also lounge chairs with cabanas or umbrellas available to rent. The Madera Beach Beach Access Park offers restrooms and rent stations, along with parking that's only a few feet away from the sand. We're here at the main public beach access on Madera Beach. It's around 10 o'clock a.m. and the parking lot is already about 90% full. So if you plan on visiting Madera Beach and parking in the main access on the weekend, we do recommend showing up by 10. This area of Madera Beach can get crowded fast. So if you want a little space, you can walk the beach to find a quieter spot or you can park on one of the many smaller beach access roads located on Madera Beach. They are marked with signs similar to this one. All of them do require payment at a pay station or through a parking app like Park Mobile. All of the parking we saw was $2.50 an hour. The smaller beach access road spots also fill up quickly. While they offer a quieter beach experience, they do not offer facilities and usually require a longer walk to the beach. So now that you've seen the actual beach on Madera Beach, we're going to take you to some of the top rated places according to TripAdvisor that Madera Beach has to offer. And if you're anything like us, you might want to start the day off with a delicious coffee. So we're heading right across the street to Sweet Brunette. Right over there. We'll see you there. Sweet Brunette is rated the number one coffee shop on Madera Beach. We're here at Sweet Brunette and have decided on some coffees. Today we're going to try the Naughty Nut with organic vanilla, macadamia nut, and salted caramel, and also paint me pistachio with espresso, pistachio, and white chocolate. We also ordered a strawberry banana muffin because apparently we didn't have enough strawberry themed foods last weekend at the strawberry festival. Sweet Brunette sometimes has live music. We had the pleasure of listening to Ella Jet before heading out to our next stop. So we got our coffees at Sweet Brunette and they are delicious. And now that you got your energy boost, you can walk just a block down the street to a brand new beach bar. And as far as we know, it's the only beach bar on Madera Beach. We'll see you over there. This caddy's location had only opened days prior to our visit. While there is a bar on the ground level, we wanted to show you the view from the second floor balcony. Souvenir cups. You got caddies on one side 
and you're exactly where you need to be. We agree. Even though Caddy's on Madeira Beach just opened, it's already pretty clear that it's going to be a popular spot for these beach views. It must be a great day for parasailing because right now from our view we can see five. They're probably too small to see in this video, but they are out there. If you watched our video on St. Pete Beach, we talked about the free beach ride service and want to note that this will also work out on Madeira Beach. We also wanted to show you the view of caddies from the beach. After a very short walk, you can be to the beautiful turquoise water. While seven other beaches in Florida were also recognized in TripAdvisor's top 25 beaches in the United States, only one Florida beach was ranked higher than Madeira. And that was the number one rated beach, which is St. Pete Beach. And it's only a few miles south of here. When compared to St. Pete Beach, which is where we filmed our last beach video, Madeira Beach is a little less commercialized. It's lined with smaller condos and less businesses, whereas St. Pete Beach has large resorts and a lot of businesses like beach bars. So I would say Madeira Beach is a little bit quieter than St. Pete Beach. I think the birds agree. <laughs> I think they're enjoying being out here on the beach. So after you've gotten your morning sun and drinks in, you're probably going to be ready for some lunch. And for that, we would recommend heading to John's Pass. We'll see you there. John's Pass is about a one mile walk from Caddy's. You can stroll along the beach on the soft sand or walk the roads lined with palm trees. John's Pass is home to over 100 stores and restaurants. If you haven't quite built up an appetite, we would recommend walking around the village to check out the unique shops. Oh, that's so cool. Eventually, you'll likely find yourself at the boardwalk. All the restaurants here along the water have a great view. You can see the bridge that connects Madeira Beach and Treasure Island. It's up right now. We've got some ships going through. A busy day on the water today. So there are so many things to do here at John's Pass. You've got the pirate ship to take dolphin tours on. You can run a boat. And you might be able to see it now. There's a little tiki hut on the water out there. You can rent that and bring your own alcohol to spend a day on the water. Or you could take a ride on the Calypso Breeze. And there the bridge is coming back down. We chose to have lunch at Pirate's Pub and Grub on the boardwalk because it's the number one rated restaurant in Madeira Beach according to TripAdvisor. I ordered the Philly Burger and Skyler ordered the Gator Po' Boy Sandwich. You heard that right. It's a sandwich filled with fried gator. How are you going to eat that? While the burger was really good, we agreed that the fried gator was the best we had ever had. Gator bite. After lunch, we would recommend walking around John's Pass to find some of the touristy hidden gems, like this shark photo op <laughs> and a hurricane simulator. Get in there, Jamie. <laughs> I'm gonna once you get in there. Better hurry. It's gonna start. Oh, all right. <laughs> oh, they got the miles per hour behind you. After grabbing some lunch, you could spend hours here at John's Pass. 
walking around on the boardwalk, doing some shopping or getting some dessert. Yeah, but being the beer lovers we are, we would recommend checking out Mad Beach Brewery. It's a huge brewery in the middle of John's Pass that offers 20 some beers on tap. We'll see you there. Here's a good overview of John's Pass Village and Boardwalk. So we walked all the way along the boardwalk here and we ended up in this area to go to the brewery. But as you can see, like all of these are filled with shops and restaurants. So it's a great place to visit if you're in the area. Don't forget to look up before you head up to Mad Beach Brewery. Mad Beach offers some sweet merchandise, a painted school bus, games, and plenty of beer to choose from. We learned during this visit that if you're there with a group of three or more, you can walk the plank, which is an extra large flight, and it includes a sample of every single beer on tap. Okay, so we got a normal flight, which is six. So from left to right, we have a yam ale, a marshmallow stout, a coffee stout, a hazy IPA, an imperial brown, and a pineapple vanilla sour. Okay, I want to try the marshmallow one. Marsha is really sweet, which I like. So this is the coffee one. Can I get a baby If you follow our channel, you probably know we love visiting breweries. But if you're new and interested in more breweries in the St. Pete area, we would recommend checking out our brewery tour videos. We'll make sure to leave the links in the description below. They are all really good. So, just wanted to let you know they have some pretty strong beers. The yam is 11. The Marsha Marshmallow Stout is 11, and the Donut Shop 12. is 12. And the Imperial Brown is also 11, I think. We're going to take our time. <laughs> if only we saved room for ice cream today, that space was taken by the beer. <laughs> That's a huge chair. <laughs> the biggest chair ever bigger than it looks. So after you're done at John's Pass, you can go back to the beach by walking right across the street. Here you'll find another parking lot with beach access. If you're staying near Madeira Beach for more than a day, you may want to look into getting a visitor parking pass from the city of Madeira Beach. Currently the rate is $40 per week. We'll leave a link to the city website in the description below for more information. Wedding happening right now. This area of Madeira Beach is a great spot to put down a beach blanket and relax for a while. We almost always bring our sand free beach blanket. It's extremely compact and an easy option to sit down on the beach without having to haul around beach chairs. If you're interested in one for your beach vacation, check out the Amazon link in the video description below. All right, let's go. Once it's time for dinner, you'll have to make a decision to return to John's Pass to try out another restaurant or check out another area of Madeira Beach. We decided to drive a few miles north to Gulf Bistro which is rated the second best restaurant in Madeira Beach, according to TripAdvisor. Gulf Bistro offers authentic French cuisine. Is it French beer? Uh -huh. 1664. Nice. I don't think I've ever had it. So I just realized that Skyler poured our water in our wine glasses. <laughs> Apparently it's not acceptable to drink water out of wine glasses. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> 
Since we had been eating and drinking throughout the day, we weren't that hungry and decided to try a few appetizers. So we have a lobster bisque, seafood gratin, and So there's like four different kinds of seafood and a lobster sauce and mm -hmm. covered in cheese. How is it? It's very good. Was there a place in this video that you would want to visit? Make sure to let us know. Thanks so much for coming along with us to see a bit of what Madeira Beach has to offer. We hope this video helps you to plan your visit. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave us a comment. If you're interested in more Florida content, be sure to subscribe to our channel and turn the notifications on. Thanks for watching! How does my hair look? Good! Good. Yeah. Yeah. Are you recording it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, anything you'd like I to say? I didn't realize that. Uh, no. <laughs> Better than the cruise ship, That's Escargo? Better than cruise ship, Escargo. <laughs> For sure.